If you want to learn how to make cinematic sound effects with Eleven Labs, you're in the right place because I'm going to show you how to create sound effects like this, that, this, or even that in just a few minutes and you can do all of that for free. I will also show you my workflow of how I integrate Eleven Labs and sound effects into my production for YouTube videos as well as for commercials. Let's get right to it. Head to 11labs.com and click the link in the description to get access to the free tier pricing right here where you get 10,000 credits per month for free. On the left hand side you can see the text to speech, voice changer and sound effects. That's the one that we're going for. Let's click on the sound effects button and you can see here that you can select sound effects that you want to create. For example, let's create truck reversing sound effect. Down here, you can set the duration of the sound effect. If you know that you need something very short, you would uh, enter something like two seconds. But if you want a whole scene where a truck is reversing for 10 seconds, you obviously want to create 10 seconds. On the right hand side, you see how many tokens you're gonna take with this generation. And each time you generate a sound effect, you'll create multiple variation that you can choose from. Let's bring this down to five seconds to show you how it works. And it just takes um, a few seconds in order to generate these sound effects. There we go, it just finished. It created four different sound effects. So let's select them one after another. These two had beeping sounds and these two did not have beeping sounds and had different types of volume. If you want to download any of these, click on the download button on the right hand side and it will download it to your computer. But truck reversing is a very simple sound effect. Let's go to something more complex. Let me show you how I use it in my workflow of creating uh, commercials. Right now I'm filming a video on how to make an Apple commercial with Google's VO2 and AI video generators. Subscribe to this channel if you wanna see that when it comes out. When I write this script, I usually try to generate a storyboard that includes each scene and cut together with the narration as well as the sound effects that I want to be included in that scene. Give me a table of where to include which shot, what narration and sound effect. And AI is smart enough to create this table for you and you can see on the right hand side, you see the sound effect as well as the music notes. For each shot, for example, here we have forged extremes and on the left hand side, we see the shot that we generated. On the right hand side, we see exactly what kind of sound would work well in this case. So when it comes to sound effects, I simply go over here, I copy this, I go to the Love and Labs and I paste the exact flow in. I also see that my shot is about approximately three seconds long, but I want to add a safety buffer of maybe two seconds in case any of the sound is not good enough. So I bring this up here and I say, I want this to be five seconds. And I simply hit generate. Now that that is being generated, I can check out which of these I prefer the most. So remember this shot is um, an iPhone emerging from molten metal and the narration says forged in extremes. So let's see what would fit best to this. So for reference, this is the video that I'm gonna show while giving the sound effect. And you can see that there's molten magma. So my workflow is pretty simple. I have this on the left hand side of the screen and this other thing on the right hand side of the screen. And I go through my table and I simply just copy exactly what sound effect I would need for a specific point. For example, here, bright crystalline chimes, enter that in. I see that this is a three second scene. So I'm gonna give it five seconds and I generate it. And I like this the best. Simply download that from my computer. Once I've gone through my whole list of sound effects that I need for the shot, I can go through this here and listen to them and select all of the ones that I preferred to have in my account. I see them in my downloads folder and I can drag them into my sound effect folder for later use. If you want to learn how to use Eleven Labs effectively, I have this whole guide where I go through how to prompt it effectively and get the best voices. So check out my other videos as well as this guide if this is something that is interesting to you. And I've also created this advanced guide to AI Studio and GPT-4 image generation. That is the exact process that I always use when generating short stories animations or product commercials as I am doing for my other video. Try 11 Labs for free with the link in the description. Check out my resources if you want to dive really deep and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more helpful content for entrepreneurs and content creators. Peace.